Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Reesey News. And first up, we have an Animal Crossing update, but it's a little disappointing. So I was kind of expecting, like a lot of other people, for an update to be a lot bigger than this, kind of like a big 2.0 update or something like that, but I guess it's just a minor update this time, kind of like some of the other ones, but maybe not like the other ones too, because this is just kind of adding stuff to older holidays, and it doesn't really seem like there's anything new this time. Though it's not completely, like, just a, um, patch update. There is some things that are a little interesting about this update, like some new items, and some new things to events and stuff like that. I really hope there is a bigger update in the future, which will probably happen around E3, I'm guessing, or even late May. Though, I do still think there is going to be some kind of big update for New Horizons. I don't think it's over yet, because, like, I mean, the game is really popular, and they wanted to keep supporting it, and there is a lot of things data mined in the game before the game even released. So, going back to this update, the events that they're updating is May Day, which was actually a pretty cool event, because you got the meet Rover, and... It was on this island, and you have to do this quest to kind of make it over to him. And it looks really cool. And now they're actually adding some things to it, like adding some new puzzles and some new features and stuff like that. Like, they're even having cliffs this time. And the puzzle looks a lot more interesting this time. So I might do even like either a video or a live stream for it. It looks pretty interesting. And they're also upgrading International Museum Day which they are going to add, like, the art gallery to it. So I hope um, I'll have enough art to be able to do that. And I think they'll also maybe add something else for the fish, insects, and fossils. And then wedding season, which they're going to have new wallpaper and possibly some new items and stuff like that. That was a fun event, so I'm glad they're doing that again. I feel like the events in spring are always more interesting than the rest of the year, because they're not just like the collection events. And they also have some new items and like some new seasonal items and stuff like that, and a lot of it looks really cool. And I'm not sure what the update bonus will be exactly, but I guess we'll have to find out maybe tomorrow, because it usually says um, something like that tomorrow. I will cover it if there is some kind of update bonus or something like that, and I probably will cover the holidays, because like they look a little more interesting this time. That's the only thing that I'm interested about this update, that they look a little more interesting, but that's about it. It's just... Like, I really wish they did more, and, I mean, I'm kind of okay with the content that we have in New Horizons. Not all people are, but I really hope they do add some more things like Brewster, which was actually data mined. So we'll just have to see. And next up, there will actually be a printer that is releasing for the Nintendo Switch. It's already out, but it will actually have support for the Nintendo Switch when new Pokemon Snap comes out. And it's basically the the Fujifilm mini printer, and basically it kind of connects to your phone, and it prints out photos. And now it will actually have support for the Nintendo Switch, though it's through an app still, but that's okay. It still has a lot of interesting features, since you can directly get the screenshot printed, and it looks really nice. It has some Nintendo filters for, like, themed around Mario, Animal Crossing, and Pokemon. And I guess you could use it for any game, too, and it looks really cool. And I think that's a pretty cool way of just, like, printing out some Nintendo Switch-themed things, or even some of your own photos on your phone and stuff like that. It has been out for a couple years already, but I think it's cool that they're adding Nintendo Switch support to it so it can properly print out your screenshots and everything, and it looks really nice. And I guess this is... This is, like, a good replacement for the thing that they had in Blockbuster, which would basically, like, print out your photos for that, and you can, like, keep a Pokedex collection or something like that. And I guess this is a pretty good replacement, since you can take as many pictures as you want, as long as you have, like, enough, um, things for it, or enough, like, filler to print it. 
So it looks really cool, there's a lot of filters for it, and this looks really nice, and I'm glad they're adding this for like all the feature, like the photo and capture features that they have in the various games on the Nintendo Switch. So thank you guys for watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.